Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's ICU, and today, fresh off the heels of this week's earlier beta, Apple has seeded the seventh beta of iOS 10.2 to registered developers and the corresponding public version to those enrolled in the public beta testing program. So seemingly Apple has thrown all logic out of the window. We're now in uncharted territory and this is unprecedented. We've never had two back-to-back -back iOS beta releases for two weeks in a row like we have this time because since last week, in fact, from last week to today, we've had four new iOS betas. That screams absolute insanity. So let's go ahead and get into this video. We're going to briefly discuss things. We're not going to go too into depth because guess what? This beta doesn't feature any outward facing changes at all. So we're on Apple's developer portal here, which is exclusive to registered developers. And scrolling down, you will see iOS 10.2 beta 7 was seeded today's date, December 7th, 2016. And like its past three predecessors, it also features a build number that's highly reminiscent of public releases being the shorter build number of 14C92. So yeah, Apple started doing this for beta four and previously for the last three seeds, we were under the impression that almost any one of those could have been the finalized version intended for public release or the GM seed. At this point, we honestly just can't say. The only thing we really need to know related to iOS 10.2's possible release date is just that it's sometime in December it would make absolutely no sense to try to pinpoint it now because what Apple's doing makes absolutely no sense. These crazy four beta releases just since last week. Again, at this point, Apple is acting erratically with these beta releases and we just don't know whether they're going to seed beta eight, whether they're going to release the public version next and how long it's going to take. All we do know is that the TV app featured in iOS 10.2 is going to make a public appearance this month in December. And remember the TV app is exclusive to iOS 10.2, which in turn means that 10.2's release is also going to occur sometime this month in December. Now, of course, Apple definitely wants to make sure things are 100% stable with iOS 10.2. It almost seems redundant, especially since we have no outward facing changes with this beta and the last two beta releases really didn't fix much either. So the sixth beta was merely issued to add additional providers to the single sign-on service that will be official in iOS 10.2 and its predecessor, being beta five was issued to address the lock screen bypass complication, as well as the video glitch that essentially would cause any iOS device to need to be force restarted or force rebooted before it would actually start functioning properly again. So no outward facing changes for the last three betas, guys. We're not really going to go into any of iOS 10.2's changes for additional info on that. Definitely check down below in the description. Again, iOS 10.2 beta seven features zero outward facing changes, most likely just small or minor under the hood bug fixes that Apple wants to test before they push it live to the masses because of iOS 10.2's critical significance. Again, meaning it is a massive firmware. Now, as far as jailbreaking goes, unfortunately, because Apple is acting so erratically with iOS 10.2 releases, we just don't know what's going to happen from here on out. So will we get an iOS 10 jailbreak ever? Yeah, we definitely will. Of course though, at this point, we just can't say when, just like we can't say when an iOS 10.2 public release is going to occur, we also can't say when a public jailbreak is going to occur. Of course, Pangu has been able to jailbreak iOS 10 for some time now, and they missed the release window with iOS 10.1.x. We're now waiting on iOS 10.2, so everything is contingent upon it. And remember, really anything that Apple does can either delay or expedite the release of the next jailbreak utility. And like I said, the only thing we really know now is that there is going to be another jailbreak. Pengu's interests haven't faded, and of course they are operating in stealth mode right now like they do every single year. This is a pattern that repeats itself time and time again. I remember back in the days of iOS 7 when the evaders were the primary developers on the scene before Pengu came into the fray for 7.1.x, everyone was saying that was the end of jailbreaking. Of course, we later received a jailbreak in December, so could that kind of situation occur again? Most definitely. We'll just have to wait and see, and I'll keep you guys fully updated along the way. Just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you will be fully notified and definitely check out some of my more recent jailbreak update videos. I will have my playlist linked below, and I specifically recommend checking out the last video in this beta update series being for beta number six, because in said video, I go more into depth on the topic, and I also discuss some of the more intricate matters related to jailbreaking. I really don't want to have to repeat it in today's 
today's video though. So that's all that's really going to be said. Yes, there's going to be another jailbreak, but just like iOS 10.2, we don't know when it's going to happen. And right now, all that we do know is that Pangu is targeting iOS 10.2 and 10.2 is going to be released sometime in December. For more on jailbreaking as well as iOS updates, just be sure to stay tuned, follow me on Twitter, and like me on Facebook for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.